hi guys today i'm going to show you how to create a virtual desk in windows operating system that was in windows 8 uh, in windows 8.1 operating system and you can also use this option in your windows server 2012 operating system both in r2 and in a normal operating system so what is meant by virtual disk? The virtual disk is nothing but a disk which was created independent of the hardware. So I'll show you. Then only you can easily understand. I'm just going to open my computer management. Go to the manage options. Here you can see a disk management option. So if you see here I have a lot of disk which is available right now and each one was in a hub status so what I am going to do is just I am going to right click the disk management to create a virtual disk so just right click on the disk management and click the option called the create VHD so if you see here it was showing an all it is showing a window that was asking for the location to save the virtual hard disk on your local machine and the next thing it was asking for is the size of the virtual disk that is you can give it an mb or gb or tb format so no issues in that you need to specify the size of the virtual disk and the next thing is the format you can save the virtual hard disk in a VHD format or VHDX format. So, what is the difference between those two VHD and VHDX formats? So, VHD is nothing but it will support the virtual disk space up to 2040 GB only, but VHDX supports up to 64 TB. So, since we are not using much size for storing the data, we can basically work on, on the VHD itself, so no issues on that. So if you are in a corporate environment, you need to use the VHDX since it, the corporate environment will have more number of users and more number of space, huge space will be used in there. So if you are in a corporate environment, you can better go for the VHDX format. And the next thing is the virtual hard disk type so what it specifies is nothing but the fixer size and the dynamically expanding what so what is meant by fixer size the fixer size is nothing but if you are specifying the size of the virtual hard disk to be 10 GB 10 GB so you cannot change the size of the disk and if you are specifying the dynamically expanding means the size of the hard disk will get changed uh, that is if you are using only 1 MB or 2 MB of data it will not fix the size of the hard disk and uh, you can use the extra amount of space that is for example I will show you one thing so here it was using about 122 GB of data. So what I'm going to tell is I'm just creating a VHD here. I'm just creating a virtual disk here and if it has a size of about 20 GB only the used amount of space will be used and so that the remaining amount of space will be available for the usage so if you are in your home user then you can use the dynamically expanding option so that the remaining amount of space which was not used will be used by you by or some other uh, data you can save some other data so I'm just going to select the dynamically expanding and I have just given 10 GB of storage data and I'm just going to save the location here as test so on the format we I am using here VHD format so I'm just going to select save and give ok 
so what this is so let's check out so it was not created just wait I will create it again H T D it's going to give twenty GB of sorry and my previous settings I have just given about <laughs> ten thousand so I am here I am just going to give twenty G ten GB of data here and the fixed size on this one Let's select OK and now here you can see the 10 GB of unallocated space was created by the disk management utility and if you can see here that it a down arrow mark has been shown in the disk core with a different size color it was in a blue color so what it means is it was a virtual hard disk and uh, it was in a down status so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just initialize the hard disk right now just initialize the hard disk as a primary boot I'm just going to select this option as a MBR that is a primary partition so this hard disk will act as a primary partition so that you can install any other operating system in this partition so I'm just going to select OK and here you can see it was in an online condition that is it was in a status and let's go and check the properties and if you see that it was showing as a normal hard disk so you can do whatever you want and here you can see it was a an unallocated set so I'm just going to Go to the properties to check the virtual disk properties and here you can see it was showing that it was a Microsoft virtual disk and all other properties you can just check it here and here the virtual disk was in online status but if you see here it was not attached here so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to attach the virtual hard disk for that you just need to go to the disk management and right click on it and just select attach VHD here it was showing the location so that you need to browse to the location where the hard disk was that is a VHD file was saved so here if you just check out the properties and you can see here that it was only taking about 32 MB of data so I'm just going to the location so we just go here and just right click on it it is only showing the 32 MB of disk size has been utilized so since I have selected the dynamically expanding storage type it was taking only 32 MB of disk size so if you select the fixed storage it will take a full of 10 GB of fixed storage data and I'm just going to attach the VHD just selected the hard disk here just select open select ok it's already attached so let's check it out um, no still it was not attached here let's check it out So it is showing that it is already attached so we can just create a simple storage here so it may be useful for you. 
select next, 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 and just select finish. And if you see here, a new storage has been created with a space of 10 GB. And here you can see only 122 GB was free. That it means it, if I try to copy some data, it, this hard disk size will get increased. So I'll just show you. So I'm just going to try to copy some data here. So I'm just copying. So the size of this hard disk was increasing. So just return back and we'll just check it. And now I'm just going to show you how to create a fixed art disk storage. So I'll just select it as text. Fixed and just save it and give 10 GB of space and save. Select OK. And here you can just refresh it. So it is creating the virtual disk here. If you see, you can check it out here the progress bar. So I'll just pass the video and return. So it was going to get completed. And now here you can see that this file has been created. That is a virtual disk has been created. I'm just going to initiate the disk. And I'm just going to create a new simple volume here. That is a primary partition. So if you see here, so if you see here, two of the virtual disks has been created with the primary partition. One is a 10 GB and one is, uh, and the next one is also a 10 GB. And the percentage of usage here, since I'm just copying a 9 GB of 8 GB of data, it was utilizing the space. I'll just show you the size that is this one is a dynamic one and this one is a fixed one I'm just going to the properties here so if you see here it was taking a full 10 GB of hard disk size and it was only taking the usable data so if you see here since I'm just copying the data here it was so it was utilizing the space slowly slow, slow by slowly and I'll just refresh it now so if you see here it was just the space was just increasing here on the here you can see that it was the space was increasing so this is the difference between the fixed and the dynamic VHDs so this is how you will create and use it in your so you see here this is how you will create the visual disk in your Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 operating systems. I think this may be helpful for you to create and work on the VHDs. And thanks for watching the video.